Okay, we're on Sukkah, Perek Hey, Mishnah, Gimel, third Mishnah, in the fifth and final chapter of Masechet Sukkah. Very short Mishnah about a really interesting detail in the Simchat Peta Sheva. So we, lo- we learned in the last uh, in the last Mishnah that they would have these kids running up and down with these huge jugs, lighting these big fires. So now our Mishnah is going to wonder, what did they use for the wicks for the fires? It's a really interesting question why the Mishnah has to tell you this, but whatever. From the blae, blae are the shmatas, in the leftover clothing of the michnasayim, of the michnasayim are, the, are like the pants, the shorts of the kohanim. And from the hemyanehem, avneitehem, avneitehem is the belt. Targum avneit hemyana. So it's the Aramaic word for their belts. So they use the leftover, the old shorts, and their belts, hayumafkiim, they would rip them up. Ubehem hayumadikim, that's what they would lit light with. And that's how they would get these huge, you know, they use these huge things for wicks, because otherwise, where would you get the wicks from? And I guess in his little bag, he's got wicks too, I guess, from the old clothes that they would use. And that's why he kept lighting it. Okay, for ma'am, ayu madlikim. Let's go back to the Mishnah. I'm sorry. And there was no courtyard in Yerushalayim that wasn't lit up from the or from the light of the Simchat Beit HaShoiva. Haribai was, he says, Gavor was higher than everyone, and the light shined on the whole city. So you can imagine, it's, it's really, it, it was probably a wonder for everyone. Remember, they lived at a time where there was no electric lights. Night was dark. Night, you didn't go out. And all of a sudden, in Yerushalayim, when people came and there was Aliyah the Regal, all of a sudden, the night lit up. And this was part of the, the experience that gives you chills. Think about the amazing experience that people had. And they came back home, and they said, Ah, oh, remember when you went to Yerushalayim? And the whole place was lit up at night. It was unbelievable. Every night was like that. And that's why, uh, that's why it was part of the Irua, part of the party of the Beit HaMikdash. I haven't thinking about it now. I'll just stop with this. Yeah, nowadays, we have these amazing light shows in Yerushalayim. And you see them like preparing. That's what it's going to be. They do these incredible light shows on the city walls and now in the city of David. Of course, it's just getting ready for the Simchat Beit HaShoiva of the future. We'll stop here and dedicate our learning to the memory of my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a great day.